Hello and welcome to Light Bearers. So today we will continue from where we stopped in our last class. In our last class, we stopped at design load, which is 10.24 kN per meter squared. So today we will find the moment coefficient or the slab. Okay, this is BS8110 part 1 1997 edition structural use of concrete code of practice for design and construction so now let's scroll down to the table we will be using Page 38, table 3.14. Bending moment coefficient for rectangular panel supported on four sides with provision for torsion at corners. If you look closely at the left column of the table, you would see the heading to be type of panel and moments considered. Here we have interior panels, one short edge discontinuous panel, one long edge discontinuous, two adjacent edges discontinuous, two short edges discontinuous, two long edges discontinuous, three edges discontinuous, open bracket, one long edge continuous, and then three edges discontinuous, open bracket, one short edge discontinuous, sorry, and then four edges discontinuous. Now, for each of the panel, we have negative moment at continuous edge and positive moment at mid span. Now, if you look at the second column, which has so many sub columns, you would see the heading to be short span coefficient, which is BSX. BSX is the moment coefficient for the short span. And then this second row is the values of LY all over LX. Remember in our first class, I told us that LY over LX is the aspect ratio. So here we have 1 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.75, 2.0. And then the third column here is long span coefficient BSY for all values of LY all over LX. BXY is the moment coefficient for the longer side of the slab. Now, now first class, we identified that the slab is a two adjacent edge discontinuous slab. So we come to this rule, two adjacent edge discontinuous slab. Here we have negative moment at continuous edge and positive moment at mid span. And then our aspect ratio, is 1.33 here is 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 1 there is no 1.33 here we only have 1.3 and 1.4 so we will pick the two values and then iterate so for 1.3 under two adjacent edge discontinuous we have 0 0.069 for negative moment at continuous edge and then for positive moment at mid span we have 0 0.051 and then for 1.4 under negative moment at continuous edge we have 0 0.074 and then under positive moment at mid span we have 0 0.055 now for the long span which is bxy we have here bxy to be 0 0.045 for negative moment at continuous edge and then 0 0.034 for 
positive moment at mid span okay let's move over to the calculation 